See, Tyler, the creator, had a problem. He goes on an interview and says how musicians nowadays aren't taking music seriously and they're just trying to go viral. People lose it. Why? Because of how he started his career, Tyler, the creator, and his group Odd Future were seen by many to be unserious. So people was basically saying, it's cool when you do it. It's a problem when they do it. What's going on, Tyler? But see, this situation is actually much deeper than it seems. A huge reason as to why Tyler, the creator, and his group Odd Future got popular is because the young generation loved them so much. They were seen as the rebels to like the old people. Hey, look, it's Frank Ocean. They were even banned from some countries because of their lyrics and how rowdy they were. So people are saying he's turned to those very same old people that used to criticize him. But that's not exactly correct. Because listen closely, hip hop has always had an issue with an older generation telling younger generations how to make music. But that is not Tyler's case exactly. See, he never quite had this issue because the boy could always rap. He was mainly criticized for being a bad influence on the youth and his lyrics. Kind of like how Nirvana, grunge music, and really rock music was criticized by parents back in the day. So no, he wasn't telling people to make music a certain way, and no, old heads didn't tell him, Tyler, you gotta make music a certain way. His opinion was that when people make music to go viral, they take attention away from people who really love music like himself. He also goes on to say, and that's okay, go get your bag, but it's just something that he doesn't like. But he also says some other things. He brings up an example. In his words, he says, this white kid, this Caucasian man, is making a mockery of Southern music, such as the likes of Gucci Mane in Future. And this kid's name is Ian. Now, Tyler, the creator, does not mention the kid's name. But many people assume Tyler was speaking about him because how popular he is right now. And in many people's opinion, is just doing a mediocre impression on Atlanta rappers. But went viral simply because you wouldn't expect someone who looks like him to rap in that style. But the problem isn't that Ian is white, kinda. See, white rappers have historically outsold their black counterparts by a lot with music that can be seen as an imitation. In fact, the first number one rap song ever was Ice. Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. Is that a sky top fade? The second was Good Vibrations by Marky Mark, whom some of you may know today as Mark Wahlberg. I know it sounds like we off track, but it's about to make sense. Lock in. Since white rappers get popular easier, Ian gets popular. Tyler the Creator says boo and suggests people listen to Eminem and Mac Miller instead, who at least try to find their own lane and didn't exactly copy their sounds. Except for when Eminem was in his do-rag phase. Tyler's words, which I agree with. So Ian's manager comes out and says, Tyler, you cap, you just old and you hate the youth. And people ran with it. But he might have said this as a strategy to get young people behind Ian. Corday did this against J. Cole and that's what got him popular. But it didn't quite work for Ian because he drops a song when the buzz is on him. And remember, you got half the people saying, ah, he's like an imitation. You got the other half people saying, let the young people do what they got to do. They listen to the song and they say, oh, Tyler might have been onto something with people quite literally begging the rapper Ian to delete the song. So if you wanted to know why people were mad at Tyler, the creator for like two days, this was why. 